Chameleon Antenna has designed, manufactured, and introduced an entirely new line of MPAS ready individual antenna components. Of course, some of them will make their way into kits. I'll talk about one of those kits today, but I'm more interested in trying to explain to you the individual components that will open up an entirely new opportunity for you to create a plethora of low profile, small footprint, backyard portable Soda Poda MCOM setups. First up is the Cha BV, basic vertical antenna system. Some of the components you're familiar with, some are new, we'll talk about those in a second. This is the most simplistic way in amateur radio to get from two to 40 meters just with these components alone. Let's start with a single extension at 27 inches long. Single, it's not connected by shock cord like the MPAS 2.0 military extension is. But it's the same thing here, the same tube, the same anodized, the same 3 by 24 male stud on the bottom, the same 3 by 24 female on the top. Think getting a tactical delta loop off the ground. While the TDL is a fantastic performing antenna ground mounted, get it off the ground just this far and you exponentially increase its performance. So maybe you don't own a 20 or 25 foot mast or you're doing a portable operation. Here you can get it elevated and get better performance. On the screen, I have a Cha Hybrid Micro. This is the smaller of the two Chameleon matching units. The Mini is larger. This is the smaller. Here is the Banana Plug Puck. I put both of these on the workbench so you can see the relative diminutive size of the new products being introduced by Chameleon. So my favorite of them all, I've had this in my mind, I've been dreaming and scheming for quite some time about something similar to this. I never <laughs> mentioned it to Chameleon and all of a sudden I find out they're making it. This is the Cha Blank adapter. Why is it blank? It's blank because it's a zero impedance unit. It's not doing anything to your signal. It's taking your 3 8 by 24 antenna and it's transferring your signal out the coax to your transceiver, right? It's not influencing your signal at all. It's simply pushing it on. It's a blank canvas on which to use a telescoping whip or any other of your favorite antennas, which we'll talk about probably in a future video. You're seeing this in a BNC connector. It's also going to be available in the SO239. You can also see that there is a white line here. That is a Delrin spacer. And that's how they're breaking the conductivity or the conductivity between the top and the bottom unit. So your signal is coming through the 3 8 by 24 it's traveling out your coax feed. And then this is just your grounding side of the unit. And as a matter of fact, of course, it's made to accept the puck. And then there's plenty of thread left over to go onto your ground spike or any of the other mounts that you use that are 3 8 by 24. So this is the blank adapter. It's a blank slate. You put on it any antenna you want to achieve what you're trying to accomplish. Next up is the medium loading coil. Again, diminutive in size, but in combination with the blank adapter and an SS17, lets you go on 30 and 40. It is 3 8 by 24 female on both the top and the bottom. And then it will come with a stud that will allow you to attach it to your blank adapter. And then the other end would go to your SS17, your SS58 or your SS25. Last but not least is the SS insulator. Again, very diminutive in size, a little bit weighty. It's solid stainless steel with the exception of this Delrin spacer. I don't know how far into the top portion that spacer goes. I can guarantee you there's no conductivity from the top side to the bottom side. And so now you know exactly what this is supposed to do. So we're basically insulating the signal and conductivity. So there's a break wherever that Delrin is, you know, we've got continuity going this direction and no continuity doing this direction. You know, back to those uh, 27 inch extension units, put this at the top of two of those and you've broken the uh, connection to the ground, so to speak. And maybe you wanna fly some type of dipole on the top side of this, just hang on. We'll flash a couple pictures. We'll talk about this over coming weeks. You'll see lots of people talking about this on YouTube or maybe at your local club, the SS Insulator. 
Back to the blank adapter for just a moment. Of course, it's M-Pass ready and can accept a number of the M-Pass products from Chameleon. But think about its potential use with some of your other antennas for which you're not really satisfied with the deployment methodology because this blank adapter is a high quality precision piece of equipment. You've watched the HOA ham channel and this wall of fame grow and change over time. We've got a GRA RPG here we can use with the blank adapter. We can put a Wolf River coil on top of this. We've got an integrated system already with the multi-configuration coil and the Mad Dog has its own integrated BNC. But now we can look at the Gable 7350TC. These can all be used with this blank adapter, making it an incredibly versatile piece of gear. And not only that, but the typical types of mounts that we would expect to be using in our amateur way of life, it's adaptable to all of those and will work with all of those as you deploy your various antenna systems. I can't possibly demonstrate for you all of the potential configurations you'll come up with with these individually available components. You wouldn't be willing to watch the video that long, so we'll break it up in individual segments over the next coming months. And other YouTubers and people who aren't YouTubers but like to demonstrate things like this, they'll show up on YouTube and they'll help you along the way. But how about you do some of the heavy lifting, you think through some of the options, go ahead and mention them in the comments below or when you pick up these components, demonstrate them for us. I'll whet your appetite in just a couple of seconds. First, I want to talk about the instruction manual that comes with the CHA BV, the basic vertical. Chameleon always does a really good job with the use manual, the instruction manual. They talk about things beyond just the particular antenna. They talk about antenna performance in general and propagation. In this particular instruction manual, they talk about how to tune a resonant vertical antenna. It's incredibly helpful. They tell you what to do, how to set it up with an analyzer, what to do if you're above the band, below the band, in the band, but want to get a little bit more bandwidth. And I just want to encourage you to check this out. It'll be good for your education. Some of you know this intuitively. Um, you have an engineering mind. You understand RF. Some of us are continuing to learn, and this is a good refresher and a reference manual. It also shows that lazy sloper that I introduced when I did the video video on the MPAS light. Um, this has caught some attention and maybe you want to check this out as well. The basic vertical sets up in a very short period of time. If you're lucky like me, you can push your ground stake into the ground. With using four ground radials that came with it and extending the SS-17 to its full length, I was able to achieve a near perfect SWR. Once I added the medium coil, which you would do to get onto 30 and 40 meters, I was able to achieve a 1.4 to one. You can see me standing next to the coil. Of course, my body is impacting the reading at that point. Backing away, I was easily able to achieve 1.3 to 1.5, and I would just vary my radials, and that's how I would get to a different SWR. You are reading. With this recent release of MPAS ready components by Chameleon, paired with many of the things that are already out there, whether they're already in our toolkit from competitive antennas or other things that are part of the Chameleon MPAS ready line, the number of configurations is becoming endless. It's what your imagination can come up with that you're doing to not just be different, but how about suit the very specific use case propagation circumstances whether you're a POTA, SOTA, MCOM, Backyard, Portable, whatever it is, there's now a configuration that you can dream up that will meet the need that you have and get the performance that you require. Maybe it's a trans world, a TW antenna that can quickly be tuned using the multi-configuration coil. Maybe it's a T antenna, a dipole antenna. How about an MCC, a multi-configuration coil tuned open delta loop? That'll never work. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. Kilo Delta 4, Bravo, Mike Golf. Whiskey 4, Papa, United Delta, Sumner County, Tennessee. You're 5 9, I'm 1 Alpha. You're 5 9, Tampa, Florida. Right, of course it'll never work. Just like my ridge vent antenna, that Amazon flagpole I purchased, my rain gutter antenna, of course these things never work, do they?
Now, whether or not these are the best setups for your particular use case, I can't answer. And I haven't proved out all of these options yet because I just haven't had time to. These components are now available and we're all going to have fun seeing just how many configurations we can come up with and which ones work for specific use cases. You'll be part of the solution yourself. At just about the time you think you've reached the finish line and listed all the possible configurations, someone else is going to come up with an idea that's obvious and why hadn't I thought of that before? One extension to get the Tactical Delta Loop up off the ground? Why not two? Why not take those two extensions and put my coil antenna, get it up off the ground for better performance? Now you're getting the idea. It's near limitless configuration options. There are a ton of fantastic transceivers out there in the market, and we have new ones being introduced all the time. What a great time to be an amateur radio operator. I can't possibly test all the configurations with all of these components available from Chameleon Antenna. How about you give me a hand, make some suggestions in the comments below, start experimenting yourself and share with all of us. I'll talk to you soon, friend, 73.